John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hey there, this is John Alzheimer. Um, today I'm gonna answer a question that I get a lot from consumers, which, and, and so now we're talking about credit scores, we're talking about FICO's credit scores, so keep that in mind that everything that we're gonna discuss for the next few minutes is gonna be underneath the umbrella of FICO credit scores. And specifically the question is, is John, why do I have so many different FICO credit scores? Excellent question. You actually have dozens and dozens and dozens of FICO credit scores, and it can lead to, you know, confusion, um, irritation, distrust, and, and all of that's unnecessary, frankly. So here's the deal with FICO credit scores. So FICO is the name of a company, and they're also the brand of credit score that's very commonly used in the U.S. financial services market. So think of credit scores a little bit like you think of cereal. When you go to the grocery store, you walk down the cereal aisle, there are tons of options, right? But they all have one thing in common. They're all cereal, but they're definitely not the same. And if you buy a box of Frosted Flakes and a box of Cheerios, even though they're both cereal, they don't taste the same, right? Because they're different. That's the same as it pertains to FICO's credit scores. FICO builds tons and tons of different types of credit scores. They have different generations of those scores. They have different variations of those scores. Oh no, oh by the way, they're all custom built for each of the three credit bureaus. So if FICO builds 10 scoring systems, you gotta multiply that by three because they build them for the credit bureaus independently. It's not just the same model kind of applied to all three of the credit bureaus. Vantage score is like that, meaning they build one model that is consistent across all three of the credit reporting agencies. And so what does this mean in practical terms to the consumer? What it means in practical terms is um, if you go to Chase to apply for something, they may pull a credit report from Equifax and they may use FICO score eight, and that's gonna gin out some number, say it's a 750. Then let's say later on in the day, you go to Wells Fargo and you apply for something with Wells Fargo and they go to TransUnion and they use FICO score nine. They're not gonna get the same score uh, that Equifax gave the lender. Why? Different credit bureau data, different scoring model. Different, you know, different bureau data plus different scoring model equals different score. So the numbers aren't gonna be the same. So your response to that should not be, oh, I distrust the system. Oh, the system's broken. Oh, something is wrong. My score was different an hour ago. No, that shouldn't be your response. Your response should be, oh, okay, I get it. Different credit bureau, different data, different scoring model, different set of rules. Yeah, that makes sense that my scores are going to be different. You don't just have one single credit score that kind of follows you around for your entire life and just kind of goes up and down, up and down, just like a thermometer goes up and down as the temperature changes. It doesn't work that way. There are tons and tons of different scores and they all are going to change over time as the data on your credit report changes. But here's something to keep in mind that's really important. These the scores, while they are very, very likely to be different, or actually, I, I mean, I'm gonna guarantee you that they're going to be different. They're not gonna be the same. The fact that they're different isn't that big of a deal. What would be more problematic is if they're not directionally similar. What does that mean? Directionally similar means that they're kind of close to each other or they tell the same story about you. So if you have a FICO score of 800 at Equifax and a FICO score of 500 at Experian, that's a problem because one of those scores says that you're a fantastic credit risk and the other score says that you're a horrible credit risk. So they're not telling the same story about you. If you were an 800 at one credit bureau and a 790 at another credit bureau and a 775 at another credit bureau, that's fine because it's telling the same story, which is that you're a fantastic credit risk. And there's really not gonna be any material difference in a, in a loan or a credit card or an interest rate based on those three scores. They are directionally similar. So that's, I think, something that you should keep in mind as you're going through this kind of this journey of credit scores is understanding that they're not all going to be the same, but they at the very least should be directionally similar. Look, the flip side holds true as well. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to have to bring this up, 
if you have a score of 550 with one credit bureau, it's very, very unlikely you're gonna have scores that are much better at any of the other credit bureaus. So they're likely gonna all tell the same story, which is that you're a poor credit risk and you're likely going to be denied regardless of where you apply or at the very least adversely approved, which means you get approved that your terms are, are not very good. So if you have any other questions about that, uh, please drop them in the comment section below. We'll talk again soon. Thanks for watching. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.